All right, guys, Cowboy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here in the old hacienda, home away from home. Actually, this is my home. And, uh, well, I'm just getting ready for some fun action. I'm going someplace on Friday. I'm going to hang out with some really cool people who wear flannel. And no, it's not grand thumb. But in any case, let's talk about this. Uh, a lot of people have sent me some emails, and I've kind of been really, really busy as of late. But I will tell you this. I've, I am listening, and I am watching it. Arizona Senate Bill 1625. What is it? Well, it's a far reach. It's a far cry. But let me go ahead. I'm going to read to you, if you haven't already heard, because everybody and their mother's jumping on this whole subject, but this is my turn. And I want my turn to be the best turn. So anyway, uh, ban a person, corporation, or other entities from manufacturing, importing, possessing, purchasing, selling, or transferring any assault weapon or a large capacity magazine. The bill does not take make exceptions or the bill does make exceptions for government officers, agents, or employees who all will be eligible to register the weapon. The bill will also grant exemptions for firearms dealers, manufacturers under certain conditions. So whoever wrote this bill, and we'll talk about that individual here in a few seconds, believes that the only people who should own firearms, well, of a certain capacity, are government employees, the government. So basically that's it. So the government uh, is the only people who should have firearms. Civilians like you or myself should not be able to obtain or possess or transfer or have fun or anything else like that. Let's move further. Uh -huh. SB 1625 contains detailed definitions of what constitutes an assault weapon, including among other things, a semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine. That's crazy. Almost every firearm these days has the ability to accept a detachable magazine. All right, so here we are. But continue further. It also defines what is a large capacity magazine, categorizing it as any ammunition feeding device with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds, with certain exceptions. I wonder if they're going to make the Ruger 1022 an assault rifle, sort of like the way they did up in Washington. The shit's getting out of hand, folks. It really is, and it's because there are people out there who know absolutely nothing about firearms. If the bill passes and is signed into law, here's the kicker. Anyone in possession of an assault weapon or a large capacity magazine will be e will be able to either remove it from the state. Oh, isn't that so nice of them? They're going to allow you to remove it from the state. <laughs> Make it permanent and operable or surrender it to an appropriate law enforcement agency within 90 days after the law takes effect without consequences. Oh, yes, thank you so much for letting me turn my weapon into you without anything to show for it, except for, well, becoming a criminal. Which I know, Arizona. Since when did Arizona become such a liberal state? Well, I'll tell you what, it, it is not a liberal state. I'm gonna introduce you to this lady right here. This is Rebecca Rios. Boom. Other than being a liberal, hell, she's pretty hot. I mean, let's be honest. She's smoking. But her being a liberal anti-gun Mike Bloomberg wannabe, and a matter of fact, I guarantee this is just like the attorney general up there in, uh, what's her name, up in Massachusetts, who thought she was going to get a slot as attorney general for the country if she went on this, let's assault, let's do a ban on assault weapons across the board. Ah, uh, well anyway, Ms. Rios is in the very big minority. And this is where the real deal happens, guys, because if you look up what constitutes the Senate in Arizona, there are 30 Senate seats in Arizona. Out of that 30, only... Hold on, wait for it. Only 13 seats are held by the Democrats. So 13 to 17 would be the vote. In, that, in an effort for this thing to actually pass to go on up to the governor to sign into law. I would hope that the good people, the good Republicans of Arizona would come to their senses and actually know that our Second Amendment is on a constant combat with the guys on the left, Mike Bloomberg and the rest of those jackasses. And I would almost contend that if a politician receives any monies from Mike Bloomberg, 
you will know that they have to prostitute themselves out for Moms Demand Action Now and the bullet points that they put out for their agenda, which is illegal and anti-constitutional, guys. That's it. I don't think this thing's ever going to go anywhere, but it tells you what a freaking idiot this Rios lady is. It's Code of Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who fight for our constitutional rights as it was written by our founding fathers. It's Code of Boy 32. I'm out.